Woo! Happy New Year. Been a long time, but we are back. The most electronic doing FGC. You already know this man to the left of me. I am CG, best. You already know the vibes. I was going to rock Man Bum Mendoza today, but I was like, nah, it's too cold, so forget all that. But uh, we're here, though. Uh. Episode 35 and counting. Mm -hmm. We are here for a very special episode. As you can see, there's no guests, but we don't need guests out here from time to time. You know what I'm saying? So what we're going to do is, you guys are the guests at home. Basically, another segment of the Q&A, courtesy of the No Frills Podcast. And of course, all the Warriors that are, are, that are, are big fans of the No Frills so yes, if you use the uh, the the code No Frills Podcast, the hashtag, excuse me, you can ask you can ask any question you like, and we will answer it. Absolutely, you know it's always good for us to connect with the people because that's where we're, what we're about. That's where we started. We are about you guys. We are about the people, and we always want you guys to feel a part of the No Frills Podcast. Thanks. You know, so every now and then we we are gonna ask to hear from you guys because we do like to hear from you guys. Trust me when I say we do read all the comments. We do, we do. Um, obviously, sometimes at a point. Uh, I mean, we just released it <laughs> yesterday, so I'm pretty sure we would have let it linger a little more. We uh, we'll get more questions, but uh, we'll do that for for some other time. But uh, I'm excited. See exactly what y'all put on the table for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, my man right here, actually to the right, picked out most of the questions. So shout out to Chris Matrix, of course. Yes. Yeah, man. H happy New Year. Happy freaking New Year. Oh <laughs> my God. You know what? What's your New Year's resolution? Actually, to be honest, I don't got no resolutions no more, man. Um, I'm more so of just delivering and executing. So it's like I already had the goals that set, and I ain't set them yet. All of them, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying. So it's pretty much a continuation of what I, what I already set. So I mean, if there's anything that I really was thinking about uh, to improve on is uh, saving my money. That's it, and I've been doing pretty well with that. So yeah, good stuff. Good yeah. stuff. Uh, for me, I said this year I'm gonna move forward and. I'm not going to uh, focus energy into people who are not going to be receiving of it. So, okay. you know what I mean? Like, so if, if I'm, if I'm feeding, if I'm feeding positivity out there and, you know, people are eating it up, I'm going to give you more. But if, if that's not what you're about, then I'm going to just move on. I'm not going to try to like convince you or force on it because it's 2020. I'm about to be 37. 37 with a kid on the way. Oh, yeah. No, 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 kid, no, no, kid, no, kid, no, 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 not yet, not so yet. like 38, 39, maybe, yeah, 38, 39, yeah, so just shoot it up, baby, yeah. that's it, you locked it, shoot it up, <laughs> no, no, but you know what it is, it's, it's so ill because you and Shari, big shout out to Shari, uh, y'all got some goals and stuff, so, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, most definitely, so that's most pretty cool, definitely. that's pretty cool, y'all taking your time, but yeah, you know, just, just, I'm just gonna move forward with, you know, stay, keep, surround yourself with people that constantly, give you positivity and and you know and want to point you in the right direction and things like that so you know i mean the people i'm walking with this year are definitely going to be the people on the same page and and trying to do big things stuff like that you know what i mean absolutely absolutely that's what it's all about man we don't got we don't got time to waste yeah i like how you're talking about all this positivity and then we got like nice little lights in the background it just goes with it i don't know what it is <laughs> it's because i see the reflection right here in front of me which really looks pretty cool yeah we look like stars out here <laughs> You that reminds I mean? me of um damn I, what was it not it's some it's something in um oh man something with sesame street i forgot what the place is called where you in this like big type theater and you there's like a show on a ceiling and it's mad dark oh i know what you're talking about i don't know i don't know the name of it though i know what you're talking about yeah like and you just looking up and you just seeing sesame street character and they talking and all that oh, i know what you're talking about i know what you're talking damn, about that joint was popping i went on a field trip there before Damn. Okay. So, oh, you went to the the the, the park, the Sesame Street park. Yeah. The, the, it was. It's like a water park, all types of shit. Yeah, yeah. I was there when I was younger. Yeah. Who you fuck with in Sesame Street? Oh, oh, oh. Um, um. One count. Oh, two count. count. Yeah. Count. Count. I like. I like. I like Cookie Monster. Cookie. <laughs> 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 Christ. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to. Count. Remember, <laughs> Cookie Monster's on Family Guy. They caught him with the cookies under the bed. I was oh, like. What? <laughs> Spooning that shit up. <laughs> he was cooking. He was cooking the dog. Yo, that shit was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Cookie Monsters, my man. I like. Uh, I like the garage too. Oscar the garage is pretty cool. <laughs> but uh, oh man. Um, you know what? But just a uh, quick little reflection. Um, Boss Three was terrific. Yes, it you know was. I mean? Yes, it was terrific. We was in there for the long haul. Mm -hmm. Sixteen hours. Yeah, but it's it's crazy because 
I, I for me it didn't feel like 16 hours because I was constantly entertained by the matches and everything. I know it's different when you're on the commentary side because when you run a yap for that song, I, yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. It, it definitely felt like 16 hours. To me. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, I was so I was so locked in. I ain't even I forgot about the match of Reno. I, I ain't gonna fuck about none of that. Obviously, I appreciate the, the, the donation stuff like that. We all did. You know what I mean? It's love. Shout out to everybody that donated. But that's how focused I was in the matches. I'm like, yo, what's going on over here? I forgot there was people behind me. Like it was it was all types of stuff going on in my mind. But I, it was I, it was a great event nonetheless. You know what I'm saying? Boss three just watching it. Uh, being yeah. with Lawrence, Lawrence, Lawrence was going off mm -hmm. this year. Like he was definitely going off. Like uh, towards the end, obviously I was getting winded, but he ain't stopped. I mean, it's like, well, like you push it forty, he is forty. Yeah, yeah. If I'm, yeah, he has me. He has me. I, th I think he, I think he is forty. If he's not turning, and he looked young as fuck. That shit is crazy. Hell yeah, cheap jeans. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you said cheap jeans. The cheap jeans. Yeah, hell, you it's cheap. Yeah, man. But you know what? Let's go on and move. Well, I mean, we can still reflect a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we'll yeah. No, no. Because no, I definitely want to shout out to everybody that participated. You know what I mean? Shout out to people that showed up to show love, like Majin Obama. Oh, that was crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's crazy. He locked in. Once we announced it, he locked in that same day, actually. Yeah. He hit me on the DMs. He was like, yo, man, can I pull up? He was supposed to uh, bring his mans. I forgot who it was that he was going to uh, pull up with, but he ended up coming through. Mm -hmm. And a lot of and everything just timed perfect, too, because uh, I don't know. There was like a Tekken tournament there. Uh, I think it was a TSB. I'm not too sure. I could be wrong. But uh, I thought NWC joined. But anyway, shout out to Obama for pulling up. You know what I mean? I, actually, how I got to know um, Obama, um, that's Rashawn's man. I don't know people. Huggy. Yeah, Huggy Bit. Huggy Bit. So, like, um, I met him I met him uh, through the FGC. You know what I'm saying? Like, later on. Like, I knew about him, but, like, actually meeting him. Mm -hmm. But uh, Rashawn, that's like that's a <coughs> Huggy Bit's man. So, and they know each other for, like, way back and shit. Hugs. Then we need to get him on here, man. Oh, he, he already told me. <laughs> he already told me he want to be on, man. Huggy Bay knows the deal. Huggy Bay definitely knows the deal. He saw the episode with Andre. <laughs> oh, gosh. Jago. Nah, but I've been good. Um, It's a blessing from last. For last year, I actually uh got to travel a lot of cool places, which is pretty dope. Not going to appreciate that. It's just kind of been the same. It's just more so the growth as me, uh, um, just as me as a person, a human being, mentally. Um, being with a cool ass uh, team now, BTM, you know what I'm saying? That really share the same the same goals and the same core values of uh, what we're trying to do as creators. You know what I mean? So that's pretty freaking fire. Um, obviously, still rocking out with you. You know what I'm saying? Already know. Putting it all together. So that's that's pretty much what uh, I'm very grateful for for last year that I could like reflect uh, back now that I'm in 2020. But just continue on and just to be around more family. That's it. You know? Yo, it's, it's crazy. Just saying 2020. I know. Like, I know. I've witnessed, I've lived out like the '90s, the 2000s, and the 10s. That's that's three full decades, three full eras that I can say I remember. Yeah, that's bananas to me. I'm that's like, Oof. the that's '90s life. is really old school now, like really old school now. I'm I, like, sheesh. I wouldn't mind if we go back to it though a little bit. Oh, I love the '90s. I would, I would, I wouldn't mind. But anyway, and it it caught me because it's random. So I was catching up on um, the Mission Impossible movies. Okay. And I looked at the day. It said 96 to 2018. I said 96. Then these movies started in 96. And then because I didn't watch them, like all of them when they came out, I didn't. I never seen um, Ghost Protocol. I believe that was the fourth one. So when I watched Ghost Protocol, then Rogue Nation, I seen Tom Cruise age crazy. And like like a matter of like five minutes for me because I was watching them back to back. I was like, ooh, ooh, okay, okay. And Ving Rhames. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he came a long yeah, way from, from from baby boy cooking breakfast butt naked in the you kitchen. Want, He's, you want breakfast? You want some breakfast? <laughs> want some breakfast? <laughs> and oh. and my man was murking his Kool Aid. He said, "Telefono, eh, the no frills podcast. <laughs> Telefono, yo, we need a hotline over here. That'd, that'd be, be, that'd hell be yeah. funny as hell. One eight hundred no frills." That might work actually. One eight hundred no frills. <clears throat> Get the job done. They're like, excuse me. Somebody calls. Excuse me. I have a bad case of um, um Pringles. <laughs> All right, so hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, I was, I was going. To... Oh, 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 quick question, Yipes. So how were you liking some Gill? Cause I, I know you've been in the lab. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You've been filling some stuff out. Yeah. Talk to me about him. Well, he's a. Pretty, pretty damaging character, you know? <laughs> right now, he's in the phase of, like, finding, like, the proper meetings and stuff like that. Because you could, there's a lot of shit you could distort from him, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But 
That parry. <laughs> <laughs> if you know how to really master, you can always get your turn back. Oh yeah, but you have to be real nice with it. It's like that's not something that's gonna develop uh, right away. But over time, I think it's gonna be pretty good. But it's a risk though, because if you miss, that's a crush counter. Mm. Mm-hmm. But that retribu- mm. the, the the retribution aspect of the character is pretty dope. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if you know, but if you heat, if you put some, if you put them, if you heat them up and then you hit them with an ice move, you pop them up. You know what I'm saying? Then okay. vice versa. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. The freeze, the freeze aspect, uh, it stuns your meter. Oof. And then the the flame one is kind of like how you in the barbecue from from the Dawson V trigger <laughs> that you are losing the the, the red health. He's pretty good. He sounds technical. Very technical. No, he is. He is. Let me not not to take away from the character. <laughs> sounds he's, he is broken, but he suffers the same thing about a lot of. He got a three framer, but he got no reversal. Mm. So uh, he gets mauled. He gets mauled, and because he's he's tall, he's like he like to get crossed up real easy. Fake, oh fake, oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I was bumping into shit. I was bumping into shit. <laughs> Like you know, trial and error, baby. You know what I mean. I actually, um, I'm actually scheming to to, to uh, enter NLBC from time to time. Okay. I mean, okay. we might we might pass it off me and uh, my BFF from time to time, and just freaking play. But uh, I'm definitely got to get sharp with the character a little first. Mm. But I'm way better with the character now that I did from day one. So, and I've been playing a lot online. Mm-hmm. I, I've been streaming it from time to time. Character's good. I, I'll say uh, he's a minus for now. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. He's, he's, that's he's that's real good for now. Yeah. But Is he, he better than Kage? No. Ooh. No. No. no, 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 and it's crazy because I still haven't played Kage like that. Like, sure, I tried him out, but not like online. Mm-hmm. Since he got the buffs, man, there's a lot of Kages now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, I'm talking about nobody took a lick to the character. Like, <laughs> like he was just trash. <laughs> they were like, yo, 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 yeah, you play, you play Kage, man. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'll I, I be showing up to the sessions and. Just cocky rocking out, fire character, and it's crazy because uh, two of the two of the fixes that I wanted, they actually gave it to him, which is a a, a, a more hit confirmable low forward because his range is trash, so you might as well give him that, mm-hmm. right? And then um, his target combo force stands. So that's it. That's all I wanted. Oh, and, and the consistency on the tattoo into DP, the jab DP. Oh, but they gave him all types of shit. Woo! <laughs> they gave him Ron House, off a of Ron House tattoo. You do fierce DP, and you get an Oki on both recoveries. After fierce DP, ooh, and that V trick and that V and that new V ooh. skill, nice little target combo. Then you could do a V skill and get a setup. Right, it's pretty good. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a lot of shout out to the, to the true Kage players out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he said the true Kage. Who who were who were the true Kage players out there though? Sako, <laughs> uh, Teru. I think his name is Teru from on, online. I, I probably got his name wrong, but he's like the the number one Kage online. Um. Tiger, mm-hmm. I mean Tiger, Tiger. Excuse me. Shout out to Tiger. Um, that, and and I guess me. And that's it. Mm. And that's it. I'm not to disrespect mm. the Kage players that I like. Like that I don't know that's online that exists, but I'm talking about the people that are, like out there mm-hmm. that play mm-hmm. the sessions and like in tournaments and shit like that. But not realistically, like just three in terms of tournaments. Mm. Yeah. Now, yeah. Tune in uh, to, to to 2020 Street Fighter Five, and we'll we'll count them. <laughs> we'll count them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh! But I oh, see you. Gosh. I see you've been playing a lot of Marvel too, man. Yeah, yeah, God man. God damn. Yeah, man. God damn. I'm glad that you finally got the the mentality of of you can swim in the Riatsu now. I'm like, damn, oh. there was there was no Riatsu there anyway. Oh yeah, no, nah, no, nah, it was there. It was there. No, 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 no. it was there. You guys are just you, you guys are just vagina. <laughs> Yo, That's it. It was there. <laughs> you guys are just a little just a little bit on the mentality side. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. Nah, nah, it was there. No, no. <laughs> it was there. <laughs> No, <laughs> I don't believe that. Listen, listen, listen. I don't know if you guys know, but like when we talk about like being able to to like swim in a rayato and, and things like that, I don't know if you've ever like so. You, say you play a game, right? You know what I mean? Like you're you're normal. You know what I mean? Like you're you know all your all your shit's good money, but for some reason when certain people come around, like it, it could be top players or whatever, we call them power dampeners. So for some reason when they're in the vicinity or when you're playing against them or if they're just around. You you just can't play like yourself. Like you you just can't. It's like your hands are just different. Your execution is not the same. Just you know what I mean. Just one of those. Uh, we call this this guy here the power dampener. It, it's spe- uh-huh. he he especially dampens powers for other MSPs. So when whenever other MSPs try to play around him. They can't finish nothing. They should drop it, especially against. I, I, them. I mean, I mean, we can't speak for everybody. I, I'm just talking about certain people. 
<laughs> There's only two people. I, I don't know the other MSPs if they if they feel that way. But I'm talking about like uh, what it was Wick Four G Con. G Con, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a whole lot of crap. I, 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 in my opinion, you know what I'm saying. I feel like if you have what it takes for the execution side, you shouldn't let nobody dampen your execution. You just said, I just think you guys are in awe. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Yeah, you guys are in awe, and and and, and you're not paying attention to what y'all doing. That's it. Well, no, no. For, well, me personally, for me now. I feel like I keep up now. I'm, I'm, my hand, my hand, my hands are comfortable now. I don't okay. feel like I don't feel like you're you're moving so fast to where it's throwing off my natural rhythm anymore. My well, rhythm, my well, rhythm got fast now. Well, congratulations. Welcome to paying attention. <laughs> well, welcome to paying attention in Marvel Two. Congratulations. Hoshi <laughs> Toshi. And I always preach that. I'm like, y'all, y'all wild and just saying that shit. No, 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 bro, bro, bro. It's a thing, bro. Listen, mm-hmm. no, no, why it's a, it's an special thing? Because it, it wasn't just you. It, it, it would happen with me with Sanford too. So when you playing other people, they're not moving as fast. Like the the whole pace of the game is is one way. Then you play you and Sanford, and it's like up two notches. So now trying to keep up with y'all because y'all are moving that fast. Now that's not a pace that you're used to going at, so now your shit is getting fucked up. That's a thing. That's cool, but they got to do a riatsu. That's just uh, no, no. That that that's the riatsu. That's that's the nah. metaphor. That's the metaphor. It's the, okay, it's the metaphor, but it's that's just the, uh, yeah, yeah. That's the riatsu. Okay. Because Justin don't even move that fast. I know, man. like, like, it, but that, but that's the thing. His, uh, he got yeah. different yeah, riatsu, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, I, I he hear got that. Di- I hear that. My, man, my man is in the skies, bro. My man Jay is. Ha, ha, no, 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 because he, because he played me in the MSP mirror and he was fast as fuck. That that's it. He got the reaction too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she don't exist. <laughs> she just don't exist. That's the point I'm trying to make. They do exist. It's just it's just we're just better. <laughs> that's it. No, that, that's that's not even a jab. It's no, just, no, 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 it, no, it no. Is what it is. No, it is true. You guys are better. That's it. But that's, but you and Sanford specifically. Y'all do move. Y'all were not. Y'all were moving faster than people before. Okay. So that's true. When you sitting there, when you when you trying to keep up with that, that's that shit's crazy. Okay. Hashtag Titan Marvel. You guys, all right. So so what so what's up with this? You want you want to continue? Oh yeah, yeah yeah. I, I can I can go by Marvel Two all day, baby. I know you can. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can. That's that's on point. I'm going elsewhere. I'm going elsewhere. <laughs> Ah, right, you know, we're going to start off this segment of questions. Oh, shout out to Justin playing Dawson, too, man. Yeah, he's been on the ground, man. Yeah. <laughs> Go follow him on the Twitch, too. What is it? Twitch.tv slash J Wong. I think it's like 3G. 3G, something like that, yeah. Yeah, J Wong, 3Gs, man. He's been showing a lot of the show. Show love to, to, to J Wong and the family, man. It's <laughs> being a family, man. That that kid is on Justin all the time. You see? He is. Freaking um, Harper be like, like while Justin's playing, he's just she's just in the back, just hanging out, just hanging out with him, like. On the, like real anime, like just <laughs> hanging on the shoulder. <laughs> My man was playing Marvel with her, with her in the lap. I was like, "How's he moving like that?" He's playing Marvel with her right there. That's crazy. Bless, bless to the Wongs. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We're gonna start it off. All right. Oh, shout outs. Oh, first question. Shout out to my man J Kid, IFC J Kid, over at uh Twitter. IFC, IFC. Uh, I say IFC. IFC. I, every time I see IFC, I just think about mm. <laughs> me right after. Mm. IFC underscore J Kid. 808 on Twitter. Shout outs. And your question was question is what match has been the most iconic set in your eyes in the FGC? Hashtag no frills podcast. Mm. Man, iconic. Alright. All right. Obviously it's Marvel 2. <laughs> it might have to be breakpoint <laughs> with Justin and Sanford. If it's not that one, then it's the it's uh it's either that one or e- the ECC where Sanford beat him. I was definitely uh, Breakpoint was definitely in one of mine. Um, that last game was crazy. It was Sam Tarkamira and uh, when Sanford finally killed Justin Stone with the bubble drones, everyone was like, shh 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 shh. shh. There's a let him finish. So that 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 was there for me. Um, I'll be one hundred percent honest. The one that really hit me, <laughs> like hit me, hit me emotionally because uh, it was just everything was at NEC when Justin played Sanford in that first ten with the MSP. And it's no NEC. 
Justin attempt for the when we commentated. Oh, when it came back. Yeah. Oh. Blast, blast. Thank you, thank you. Oh, that's um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was I was ten, crying. Say, say, yeah, yeah, that shit went ten nine yeah, because I, it was it was just so much history there. I was on there commentating with Yipes, and we was watching them like it was just so much nostalgia, and it, it was a godlike set too. Again, bro. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> that, that I was commentating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that's how Marvel Two gets. When you watch it, sometimes you you, you just in awe. You caught up in the match because like it's so much suspense. Anything could go down in that game. It's crazy. Yeah, no, it is. It is. It's just watching them <clears throat> two play again, and then obviously the game aged a little bit in terms of uh, you know it's been out for a while. But in terms of the player mentality, like Justin and Sanford, once they separated from Marvel Two, they was playing other fighting games. So you could kind of see the little nit bits they was adding into their game while. Uh, while they was playing Marvel too, so like I see the advancement on both ends, even though they wasn't playing, but mm -hmm. like I seen what was going on, which is pretty dope. That and also, um, what did come as like a, a second runner up from a third runner up was uh, when Justin finally won Evo for Marvel Three. Yeah, that, that moment was, was yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that, that moment was epic. Also, <laughs> that moment was epic. That that when he when he when he the barrel fall. Yeah, <laughs> I was commentating that match, man. I was what's, like, cra what's crazy was the, the first thing that hit me was before that match even happened is wow, Justin's not only he's the most consistent top eight guy in Marvel. I think he only missed one year. I think mm. that was uh, the one with Cain Blue River one. But every every Evo Marvel three from when the game dropped in 2011 till pretty much the end of it on in the Mandalay Bay, I would say in Evo, uh, Justin made top eight in all of them. I think the last one he was like, wow, I made top eight. What the fuck, damn. Like he wasn't even focused on that because he was so like into uh, Street Fighter Five and like other games. So yeah, at that time. But uh, yeah, nah. I, I was thinking when I was watching the match. Um, wow, Justin's about to win Evo for for Marvel Three. I'm like, yo, he's really gonna do it with like Wolverine's like Storm Akuma against freaking Chris G's Bullet Hell. Like that shit's kind of crazy. It's always a question, yeah. a question of doubt. Like yo, can Jay do it? But he actually did it. That's what made it so iconic, for sure. Yeah, it's up there. It's up there. Yeah. There's a lot of matches, man. Like, the first things that I think about when it comes to iconic matches is lore that comes with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, just seeing it in person, too. So, like, just seeing the whole story develop with Justin and Sanford and Marvel 2, seeing it to the break point, you know what I mean? Seeing it in the ECCs, the Invitational Joints, all mm -hmm. that shit. It's pretty crazy. Like, you could, that's a testament to how how well that rivalry aged, you know? So, yeah. I'll mess with it. Let's get to the second stuff. one. Let's get the second one, brother. Hey, you good, got it. good question, man. Good question. Yeah, yeah. J Kid, I see you. All right. So, um, we're at Legendary Jig 47. Good problems. Okay. Ah, I love this question, actually. I do. Um, oh, excuse me. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get it together. Hold on. Let me get it. Let me get it together. Let me get it together. Hold on. Who, who's we at? Hold me Harlem Hospital, man. <laughs> Told him whole house we're giving beds. Okay, so um, good problems. Legendary Jake forty seven. If y'all had to pick one aspect, you know, labbing combos, learning matchups, watching high level play, etc. What's your favorite aspect of the studious realm of fighting games and why? And um, mm. I started listening to the podcast not too long ago. And I'm on episode seventeen now. <laughs> Big up to you. Thank thank you so much for the love and support. Hell yeah. Uh, I actually love this question. So um. For me, oh, I love optimization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I I love optimizing. I love figuring out what's the best <coughs> for in terms of combos. I love figuring out first what's the best combos to do in particular situations. Like if you if you, if you land like a a light attack, what's the max combo you could do? If you land an air to air, what's the max combo you could do? What's the best thing to do? What what it can lead to? Like okay. This combo might be the best for damage, but then you can do something lesser for an Oki setup or a situation yes. like that. You know what yes. I mean? So I love, I love, love, love optimizing situations as far as combos. And then um, as far as matchups, I love like really trying to break down and understand a matchup. You know what I mean? And that doesn't always mean that once you understand it, you're going to be able to put it into like actual play. You know, but once you do have an understanding of it, you do have something to strive for and to practice towards. If you're just practicing aimlessly, 
You know what I mean? Like it's it's not necessarily going to come. But once you understand a matchup and you say, okay, well, let me maximize the most I can do with this matchup. Mm -hmm. So at least when that scenario comes or something like that, you know you you did everything in your power to do. Don't worry about things that you have no control over. You know what I mean? If it's a horrible fight, if it's a horrible fight, you know what I mean? But the things that you can do in that particular matchup, that's, that's the things that I do try my hardest to lab up. And I try to maximize my character's the potential so like you know like that's that's what's most fun and um uh diligent about like training and training mode for me and stuff like that and that's what i love lapping just optimizing situations and combos yeah i, I can agree with that as well I, I like that aspect of the lab i mean my personal favorite is just just sitting in the lab and just figuring out every situation and just execution wise i mean a lot of the games aren't like that no more it's not super execution heavy mm. but like for example marvel 2 we ain't have the luxury of uh recording I wish. and stuff like oh. that so like but all i could do was um i just knew the scenarios i needed to do that i needed to be at in marvel 2 by the experience of just playing in chinatown fair i'm like okay i see what i need in order to catch this sentinel or whatever it is but i gotta practice it first so i just went in the lab and literally just fixed my execution the whole time that's all i focused on the mentality part just comes in naturally when you're that comfortable with your execution. So like, uh, yeah, I think um, getting the dexterity right from the from from just the, the hand eye coordination aspect is very important. So I, I definitely went out my way to uh, master that aspect first. Well, try to master. I don't feel like you can master anything. You can probably master an aspect of your gameplay, but you can't really master like everything. You know what I mean? You can maximize though. I optimize to the best of my abilities. So that's why I, I, I could I can agree with um what. He just said in terms of uh, being in the lab. I mean, that's my favorite, to be honest. Matchups and stuff that comes naturally. I mean, we do have the luxury of YouTube now. I mean, so we could use uh, references from like other players or the matches that you probably played on stream or sets, whatever the case may be. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, hey, great question, man. That was a really fact. Good Shout out to Legendary Jig Forty Seven mm -hmm. for that one on Twitter. All righty. And we're on to the next one. This is uh, was uh, Little Buddha. Is that the one? Mm -hmm. Kevin okay. Kevin Graf. Kevin Graf. Okay. At Little Buddha twenty. Shout outs to Kevin Graf, and he says top three with every top tier team in Marvel two. <clears throat> okay, top three. I mean, <laughs> so look, so here's the thing with that, right? It's that's kind of tough because the best players are bet uh, like like Justin Sanford and Yapes are actually probably the best with multiple top tier teams because they play multiple top tier teams so it's it's gonna really be hard to not have them in there you know what i mean but um i mean if you if for me like if you wanted to take them out like like, like we'll just keep them restricted to their respective teams right so uh santhrax is, is obviously gonna be sanford um yipes in my opinion but uh, like I said, I'll, I'll keep them away from that. So we'll say Sam, Sanford, that's a Santax player. Uh, I'll have Chunk in there also. Um, and it's, oh, that's it's, the, oh, that's the question. Yeah. I'm thinking it's top. I think he's asking what are the top three teams. Oh, but just top three. No, the top. So who who are the top three users of um? Oh, with every top tier team. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Pardon me, pardon me. I was a yeah. little lost in the sauce there. Yeah, so like I said, like, I don't want to, like, if I say Team Roll. My fault, because I was like, just going to say straight up. Like, I thought Yates, it was top three. I was like, shit, Santhrax. Yeah, like, Yates, Justin, and Sanford each have a guy like Team Roll. So I don't want to keep regurgitating them. So yeah. I'll just keep, I'll keep, I'll keep Yates and MSP, Sanford, Santhrax, Justin, with Matrix. So like I said, with Santhrax, I'll, you know, I'll have, I said Chunk, um, Sanford, and, like, it, it's tough. A lot of the other Santhraxes are, like, like has strengths has flaws you know what i mean but if i had to choose there's a couple killers up there man let me see you said just saying and, and then and, you and said also, this is top three well yeah and, and also i'm gonna go by i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna go by like the 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 meta of the game and tournament results i'm not gonna go by like current yeah yeah like just yeah just so i mean Desmond has had so much success with Santhrax, that being that the only team he played. So like I'll I'll have him up there too. Like the the third slot can be interchangeable for me in that. So I said so top three with Santhrax. You said Chunk. You said Sanford at the top. Mm -hmm. Chunk and Desmond. 
just the, the, that that third slot can be like whatever. Like it could it could be a combination of like Dez, um, Eric. You know what I mean? Like like several 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 different people like Wes, okay. finesse. You know what I mean? Like I don't think any of them are necessarily like achieve more than than the other in that respect of like as far as a, a Santax player. Okay, okay. You know I'm like Desmond got third place at at Evo using nothing but the accent first, you know what I mean? So that's why he's the first name that actually came to mind. But right. pa- powder use type but like, you know, he uses a mixture of teams, so I mean <clears throat> I, I always look at it when it comes to the top three teams is just fully fully uh because the execution is, is good obviously like you see like Desmond like he doesn't have a strong as strong storm as, as those two you know what mm-hmm. I mean but it's more so who had the most na- na- matchup knowledge in terms of the orders of the team that's how I look at it mm-hmm. so yeah Sanford would be number one because he plays both orders mm-hmm. uh, you know uh, Desmond with, that man's a psycho he rocks Sunnel first against uh, Cable yeah <laughs> but it works out though I mean it's a, it's, it's a good understanding because uh uh, if if Cable only has one bar at the beginning and they start on Cable, that, a, a one time pull on the, on the gun, it ain't gonna hurt you like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's a, it's a smart mentality. That's why the smart cables they don't burn it. Yep, right away. So yep, that, that's that's what keeps Desmond in check. If you don't panic with Cable, then you you you'll have success. I mean, with most of them anyway, most of the good sandals. But uh, yeah, yeah, I would say those top three. I would say those top three, definitely uh, interchangeable. I can agree. Um, I'll leave I'll leave MSPs to you. Obviously, yours is first. So the next two. <sighs> and this is going by tournament results and and just lore. Yeah, just just from the game's life. So we'll okay, go okay, from okay, like okay, okay, okay. To, to 2010 or whatever. Top three MSPs. So me at the top. See, I don't see. That's the thing. I usually don't put myself in there, and not even to be able to. No, no. I said no, no. I said we'll use you guys for your respective teams. Okay, okay. So, so like, I'm I'm not gonna throw you also with Team Row. I'm not gonna throw Justin with Santax also. No, I, no. I meant yeah. it as like I just won't put myself in the MSP category. Period, and just pick three. That's what I was gonna say, but nah, but I'm 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 the top, I'm the top of mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> let me see. Damn, it's tough for the second one. I would say Josh, because he's more he he's more decorated in terms of the results. I guess I how got much experience. Okay, uh-huh. okay. But I have, I think I might have to go with Sue Mighty, mm. possibly. Damn, see, there's 20 MSPs. That's the thing. I, I got Schmidt. No, 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 no. I was gonna, I was gonna go. Yeah, 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 Schmidt. See, I was gonna get there. <laughs> Let me finish. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, brother. Let go me finish. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Because I'm thinking there's too many MSPs coming in at once. I know. You know what I mean? So I'm like thinking about it. Like, <laughs> That's why I said I'm gonna leave that up to cause, you. Because then I'm saying, because look, look at the history I'm going. I'm starting from like, you know what I mean? That's why I said Josh is too. Obviously Schmidt. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Uh, the third slot. Damn. Damn. Uh, it's a toss up between Josh and Sumaidi. But I respect the MSPs that just rock the matchups. <laughs> that shit that people pull, man, I did it too. I was, I was, I was a freaking, uh, I was a, I was a, uh, one of those guys where I was like, yo, the same threats match too hard, or whatever. And I went to MSS, and then I went back to MSP. Obviously, I got my shit stomped out. But uh, let me see. I don't really see MSP that play on the matchups every time, like me and Schmidt. <laughs> Damn. All right, yeah. Uh, I, I might be stretching it when I say this on the third one. It might be Justin Wong, yo. No, no, no. We can't use him. My boss said we can't uh, use y'all for see, see, only look. for your respective teams. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh, yeah, listen, y'all gonna get top three in, all, in every category. No, no, but I'm basing it off of like the history, like the history. I mean, I mean, I, uh, I got, uh, I got mix up in mind too, maybe. Ah, uh, mix up. The storm was a little doodle, man. I mean, most MSPs was though. The storm was, most MSPs. So they the same max side. No, 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 no this. They play MSP. It's a couple. Yeah. <laughs> she clean up. Man. <laughs> so like, what the fuck is rocking MSS, man? It's those cheeks. Uh, <laughs> it's those cheeks. <laughs> when you say mix, mix some nice. You got a mag if you want to talk about just mad cool. I know. You know what I'm saying? I know. All right, all right, all right. Um, yes, it's Josh or Sue. It's Josh or Sue. It's interchangeable. <laughs> 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 I got a bad call too, man. I can't be I can't be laughing like this. Okay, okay. And the chamber with jo- with Josh are so mighty. Okay. I feel like Josh do have a better track record than Sue for sure. Oh, actually, Paper. this is tough. I, Reset's we, up there too, but no, like he, he don't he don't got enough. We we gotta use Sanford for two teams. 
that's what team scrubbing yeah all right then so let's so we writing that rule off no no but but like the thing is like yo a, they respect the teams they respect the teams. no 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 nah, yeah 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 keep yeah, yeah sanford San, only really picked team scrub that one time in 2009 like, shout out to them we know how good his shit is but like we gotta go by what happened <laughs> yeah, so he, he he wasn't known as a team scrub player msp, so. MSP me schmidt Josh Whitfall. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, teams, and, and I'm only and I'll, and I'll say Josh obviously because of his experience and other his results, but he's actually pretty good at the MSP matchup. He just he just not the most flashiest. Story. Yeah, yeah. So, like, he's pretty fast though. <clears throat> but that's it. Go ahead. So um, team scrub. Uh, I would say. Damn, I don't um, even remember who played. So Eric, Eric and Potter. Pot- yeah, 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 and um. Oh, so those are, they were in your in your in your. Yeah. Top, okay, okay, and what? I mean, obviously, first is, is Sanford. Sanford has the best team scrub, but can't use him. He's not known as that. But Eric Potter and Randy Lou. Randy Lou. Ran, yeah, Randy Lou. What he, about Quan? No, Quan's a Sanford. Quan's a, no, no. Quan is a scrub player too. Yeah. He's up there too. He's up there too. But I think I think ah, it's tough. That's tough. It's tough. Oof. That's tough. See, yeah, you can't you can't be in the team role category. No. No. I went through Caesar's beatings through that with that shit. <laughs> Set first, baby. Mm-hmm. Yo, shout out to Rodolfo. Even Rose, yo, Rose see me playing. He's like, damn, you really play this team better than me. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, keep going, man. I like that shit. <laughs> yeah, raw. Yeah, raw. <laughs> then you know, pride got in the way. Yeah, Schmitty. <laughs> Chris, Chris Schmitty. Pride got in the way, boy. Oh, good times. Oh, so so team row. Go ahead, team row. Rodolfo Castro. Mm-hmm. Damn, Justin Moore. Yo, I know, I know, but we can't use him. There wasn't even that many Matrix players. Let's just put him in the team row. <laughs> you want to just put Jay in team? Yeah, row? fuck. There was no. There was not a lot of good, good lot of Matrix, Matrix players. It wasn't. <laughs> the fuck you gonna say? Who's top three Matrix? <laughs> Justin, me. Yeah. Done. Yeah, exactly. Let's get, let's get him the fuck out that storm set shit. Uh, Justin Ro, Ro said, get him out that storm set shit. Storm set sight shit. Justin, fuck Justin did with Evo with T Bro. Yeah, oh. yeah. So let's give him T Bro. All right. Uh, ju- I would say Ro just. Inter- I would say Ro first mm-hmm. because of, of of what he brought to the table with that team. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like who the fuck at that time? Obviously, everything was just so so anti air heavy. And cats wasn't using rocket punch. They was using it with drones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit. Psh, the fuck. But then that, people see how much damage that shit do and how punishing it could fucking dead assist. The free shot, it's a huge damage. But he was an EM Destructor guy. Heavy, though. People don't know that. Man, when EM <laughs> he EM Destructor was. game. Yo, his cable was flash as fuck. Yes. He's like, uh, uh, yo, his so <laughs> act, there's just shit on the screen. He's like, uh, uh, Viper Bill. Uh, Viper Bill. Uh, <laughs> he do block strings <laughs> on traps. He's like, uh, uh, uh. He did, he did what was it his, my favorite shit was people would jump and he'll land in the they'll land in the meaty bullet on block and then you already blocking the roundhouse uh grenade, oh, comes down with the gunshot fucking <laughs> land em destructor fucking tiger knee grenade viper yo that shit was gangster that was gang- i was a fan of that shit uh i think when i seen him really go off with the trap was um when he played potter that one to potter one it was with stone state cable mm-hmm. you remember that one I don't remember him playing. He Potter. beat Rowe. He beat Rowe with Stone State Cable. But Rose in that tournament, he was smoking fools. With, 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 with Cable EM Destructor. The Sentinels getting waxed. But the Cable EM Destructor? Yo. He was getting the shit off. <laughs> but uh anyway, um, so Rowe, Justin. Um I'll give it a mic. I, I have to give it to David Lee. David Lee, right, is he a team role player? Like that's his shit? He got second at Evo with it. No, no, no. I mean, fuck, fuck that. I'm talking about like he didn't have no shit. Every year I, he I, has. I thought something. it was a Stone Cable. Like that was that's the money maker. No, nah, no. Nah, but he counted though. No, nah, no. Nah, he got he got second at Evo, was with Team Roll drones. But that's not Team Roll. That was it. No, no, it's, 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 it's not. It's Team Roll. Not totally different. Still, it's still Team Roll. Nope. It's still Team Roll. Nope. It's just Roll drones. Nope. The whole dynamic of the team is uh, revolved around Rocket Punch and and the Indestructible. So, so what is that? Mad Cable Sentinel. That's what we're gonna call it. Yeah, it's just a, it's Max Sen with an anti-air. It's cable. 
<laughs> bro, listen, that that rocket punch really brings Team Row together. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we giving it to Mike. Got to think about that though. Let me see. Damn. Let me, no, let me let me just let me just cycle through some Team Rows. I mean, I was thinking about Eric, but obviously we would know. Yeah. Potter. Potter was a Team Row enthusiast as well. Not as much as is Stone Sent or, or Cable Sent. Hmm. Yo, shout out to Potter. You no, we, good we, thing we, at Boss Boy. We can get Mike in there. We can get that Mike shit in there. Fire. <clears throat> that shit was fire, man. My man Potter was playing the matchups. I'm seeing what he's doing to y'all. I'm like, <laughs> play the fucking matchups, Potter. It's good to have all the teams. Anyway, all um, right, we'll, 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 yeah, we'll, we'll give it a um. So Justin, so, so, so no, we'll I'm, give it a Mike. We'll give it a Mike. No, so roll, so roll, Justin, Mike, Infinite. Yeah. Okay. I, I can dig yeah. that. Um, since we're on, since we're on Mag Scent, let's just go. Let's just go ahead and go with MSS now. Mm, rocket punch. We talk this. This is doesn't matter at the time. And we and we're not talking current. No, 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 not current. It, not it, current. Yeah, it, it could be Jones or Rocket Punch because because I consider Bill an MSS player. Yeah. And then Chunk too, though. That's what I'm saying. That's that's a tough ass question. That's a tough cookie, b. We just go throw back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We MS could no. We we could have Chunk. We could have uh, other people in there twice. Just not you, Justin and Sanford. Okay, fine. Uh, I mean, I didn't consider myself a good MSS. I, I thought like I was a cop out of me for me. For me, as an MSP player. No, no, I would, I would have, I would have had you in, the, in there for the team, bro. Okay, yeah, not, not MSS. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Um, and that's no disrespect to, to, to no shit. I know, I nobody that picked MSS. It's just I literally picked MSS. My MSP was getting washed. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I literally got, I, and then I just went back to MSP faithfully. So, um, MSS. I, I got J Ma. Oh yeah, J Ma. How can I forget? J Ma. Um, Better than Bill. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, track record. We talking track record? Yeah, Jamal's just clean. Jamal's just clean. Uh, you prove like that? Yeah, you thought about it, right? <laughs> How you forget about that? I did forget about that. Yeah, Jamal. Jamal. Um, Chunk. Yeah. Yeah, Chunk. And. I don't want to say it. Brand Brandon? Brandon? Oh, shit. I mean, but he was a Max Storm head. Yeah, he was. He was. He, he, he a pound for pound guy. <laughs> he pound for pound. He he be playing fucking MS random. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Uh, I, you think I was thinking about that? Of course I was. He, but he played too much shit with, M with MS. I, I think we got. Yeah, you know what, Brandon? That that was a shit. Oh, man. That was his shit. He only MSP'd when he had an MSP mirror. Yeah, facts. That's it. But he was he was MS he was an MSS player. Yeah, he was he was he was. Um, yeah, uh, J Ma, Chunk, and it's between Bill and Brandon. And this is not current, correct? No. Okay. Bill Bill Brandon. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we said um, Storm set cable. Um. Potter played it, so I'll give I'll say David Lee Potter, David Lee Potter, yeah, and, and I'll and I'll give it to, to Cable Guy. Okay, okay, that's respectable. Yeah. Okay. I'll um, give it to Cable Guy. Let's see now for um Combo Fiend. Uh, I'm gonna have to give it. I mean, Josh 60 is up there, but I, I I always I always respect the original. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's the team. That's just shit. That's you know that, I mean? Look at the name of the team. So I'm gonna have to put them on number one. That that would be disrespect. <laughs> but I mean, not necessarily. Not necessarily. I mean, I'm just just going on lower, man. It's that lower, man. <laughs> combo fee, and then the one combo I keep remembering is the shit he did to Pod in the Invitational. He did some shit. He did like boom no, boom rocket came, punch. Yeah. Uh, into the repulsive bass, then he did rocket punch super. Mm -hmm. Damn, Kim that shit. Died. He died. He died off of that shit. He died. He died. He died. Damn, that, that was classic. Um, and he was rocking set first most of the time too. Yeah, combo fiend, Josh three sixty, buckethead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Buckethead. Yeah. Top three. Yeah. I'll go there. I like that. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Um. Strider Dooms. Uh. Clockwork. Lockdown. Not now yet. I mean, not, yeah, not back then not, yet. Yeah, because that's, that's not current. Clockwork. Clockwork. Eddie Lee. And Clockwork. Oh, yeah. Okay, Eddie Lee, too. Eddie Let's Lee, too. Let's just throw Let's clock Eddie, Eddie Lee. Lee. Clock Eddie Ma Lee. Maverick. Wow. 
Lawrence was playing Strider Doom back and, and that tournament heyday he, he wasn't picking on Strider Doom like that he was, he was playing. What was it? What was it? The silence. He wasn't. He wasn't. He's like, he's like, he's like. What? Was it? Yo, this, this, who else is? What, was Spider Dan was playing them? Maybe, uh, maybe, was maybe so, so, Clockwise. Oh, 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 oh. Amir. Okay. Amir. Hold that shit. Oh, 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 oh. Hold that shit. <laughs> Dude, man. Yo, the other one he had for this other guy, I can't, I don't even want to say it on camera, but wow. The, the shit. I'm like, why did you give him that name? <laughs> mustache? Well, I know, I know. But, but the other word, I don't want to say that. We, we, we can't say that word. Oh, gosh. Um, oh, man. So, um, Team Duck is obviously going to be Duck, Duck, Duck. duck. Yep. Oh, fuck cur- about nobody a, else. A courtesy of sound. When he first came, he was playing that shit. Then he went through Hell on Earth against Desmond. <laughs> Oh, um, didn't Ricky play Spyro a little bit? Duck though, duck though, duck though, duck though. That's it. Duck, 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 duck. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I remember. I was hearing. I was hearing some one guy. I was hearing this one guy in the back. He was like, "Oh, look at that shit! Look at that shit, yo! You know, you know, in tournaments, right? In, uh-huh. in tournaments, I gotta do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's love. It's love. Yeah. You always got. You always got that one dude that you hear like. It's that one strong pinching voice, right? <laughs> and I'm, I'm trapped, so like, what else there is to do? You know what I mean? Or a fucking, I'm listening to shit, listening to the crowd going crazy. I hear that one guy it's like, oh, look at that shit, look at that shit. I was like, damn. I was like, oh. Oh six, baby. Uh, uh, oh five. Oh five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof. Oh five. Oh five. Oh, I'm gonna find it. Hold on. You know what's crazy too? I, I, I always say so. Me and Duck got got grand finals that that year, right? Oh five. Mm-hmm. Don't you know about the following year? Me and Duck get uh, fucking fifth. We tied for fifth. Random. At 06. Duck got top eight that Evo. Yeah, he lost his Sue. And who else? And Chunk. Good shit. Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, I'm just gonna let you hear the sound of it. This is called Return of a King. <laughs> If you want to see, this is off an of Evo 2K5 trailer. Hold on. He's like, oh, look at that shit. Here we go. Here, here it comes. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Huh? <laughs> he said, oh, hold on. Some epic shit going on. <laughs> yeah, that crowd was going. Hey, I'm telling you, through all of that, Yo, through all of that, I heard crazy. that one guy. <laughs> through all of that, I heard that one guy. Oh, look at that shit. Yo, who was that though? I don't fucking know. I just thought oh, it was God. a very, very heavy West Coast crowd. <laughs> that shit was heavy. Bro, the only dudes that was in there from New York. He, Fuck it, who was it from the East Coast? Josh it was, uh, was there because we was on the phone with him. I think Liston was there. No, 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 no. Chaz. It was, it was Mike D. Chaz, Josh Whitfall, Sean Morgan. <laughs> Sean Morgan. And then fucking, uh. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> That's it. That was it. We, they had a little old for the front section and shit. Oh. Engulfed by West Coast. Shout out to the West, man. Duck. But yeah, but a team, but with team Duck though, just put his name three times. In terms of clockwork, I guess you want to put his name twice and then one more person. Oh yeah, I said Amir. So clock, clock, Amir. Yeah. Okay. All right. So no, no Eddie. Maybe. Lee? maybe oh, oh no no clock Eddie, Eddie Lee, Amir. You said Strider Doom, not Team yeah, Clockwork. Yeah, yeah. Strider Doom. Clock, clock, Eddie Amir. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. If it was Team Clock, then yeah, then then it's just. All right, all right. So it's just Strider Doom. Okay. Um. Did we miss any teams? We said Thrax, MSP, Rose, Stormset, Cable, Duck, Strider, Doom. Team, Team, uh, Team Matrix. Go Team Matrix. Uh, Justin twice, then Chris. Yeah. I'm yeah. trying to think. Did anybody else play that shit? No. No, absolutely not. I seen Jow play it, but he, he plays MSS. Yeah. Sofa. Yeah. I seen Jow play it. Like actually, when I played John in uh, Evo 07, he played Team Matrix. Yeah. Random. <laughs> Man, try to go with lore. Like, yeah, Justin beat this guy with this shit? <laughs> I see what he was doing last. They, 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 they think I, I ain't peep game. Um, um, let me see. I mean, like, this Team Watts. 
Put Watt's name three times. Yeah. Uh, Eric too. Eric played Team Watts tournament. Put he did. Team Watts three times. Put Watts, Watts his name three times. <laughs> I'm gonna play Cable Sentinel. Um. <clears throat> who else? Cable Sense Psych. Put put Chris's name three times. Rashawn played it too. And Rashawn, yeah. He inspired me. Somebody else too. Those somebody else from West Coast played it. But I don't remember. I can't remember. Can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> I mean, as far as top tier teams go, well, everything else is gonna yeah. be kind of speculation. So that that well, that well, will well, do for that. that. That's just number one, number three. Yeah, yeah. God damn. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. So we're going to the next one. Um, this is D, powered by gravy. Okay. <clears throat> At powered by gravy on Twitter. I got this one. What are your top? No, you three? did Kevin Groff. Did I? Yeah. That was oh, I did, I did, I did. Okay, go ahead. Go for it, bro. What yeah, I know, for right? real. What are your top three FGC rivalries? Provide some lore if possible. Mm. Okay. Okay. I'm, go I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try not to stay with Marvel 2. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm gonna switch it up. I actually was gonna I switch wanna, it up. I wanna branch I'm I wanna branch out. Um one hundred percent I was gonna switch up. I mean the the Justin Daigo rivalry was O D. Even though even though like Daigo clearly got the better of him. It was definitely still a rivalry though. Like he got cooked at third strike with the parrot video. He got cooked in vanilla Street Fighter Four. When Super came out, they had that freaking epic first of seven where it ended in a draw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was bananas. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So for me, like yeah, like the the, the Justin Daigo rivalry, um Yeah, that yeah, that was that was a rivalry. Um I like uh, well. You gonna, S- your top three. So, yeah, Sonic, Fox, and Goichi. Fine. They've, yeah, they they they've been rivals in that in the Dragon Ball shit for quite some time since the beginning of the game. <clears throat> yeah. And what makes it even more beautiful is Goichi popped off to him. Well, oh, yeah. it wasn't even a pop off. He just um called him out. That's not a pop off. Yo, can for twenty twenty? Can we switch it off? Um, for the definition of pop, you know I ain't gonna get into it. Get into it. <laughs> Let's go. And so you said Justin Daigo, Goichi, Sonic. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. Mm. Damn. I just, I mean, I don't know if these really count as like OD rivalries. I mean, I just, I mean, the whole flux coach Steve Jones was popping for me too. Okay. You know what I mean? So I guess I'll, I guess I'll go with that. I'm trying to stay away from Marvel too. Not me. Um, <laughs> Ju- Justin saying for one hundred percent. Yeah, I mean that was that I was say, that's like, a given. That, that's hundred percent was gonna be up there. Yeah, I mean if y'all don't know the law, that the law is out there. Like I'm talking about its own footage from like every match. And mind you, this ain't even including because it's not included. Obviously, it's uh the 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 Chinatown Fair Wars, but you have to see that in person to really know and understand how this shit grew even more. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So Justin Sanford. Um, let's see. Let's go to let's go to the Nether Realm side. I like CD Junior, the artist formerly known as CD Junior, versus uh, Perfect Legend. Mm. That shit was, and, and the reason why is because one of the main reasons I even was watching MK9 was because that rivalry was popping. Like they met in the MOGs and all that shit. It's just you know the the, the the pop off the shit talk and stuff like that in between. It was pretty good, you know what I mean? It didn't build up. It wasn't like some super shit that just went through the years, but like it grew it grew up with them. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So I enjoy like stuff like that. So CDPL. Um, Chris Matrix, Long Island Joe, Rock Paper Scissors. <laughs> oh gosh! If y'all don't know, man, every fucking tournament for for a hot minute, these motherfuckers will go at it for some money. Uh, rock Paper Scissors. Yeah, check it out. I actually got footage on my Facebook about that. I should I should put that put put the files up. I actually got footage of that. But um, yeah. But I, that obviously I'm joking around when I'm like wilding out with shit like that. But uh. Now I'm gonna stick to that. That's my top three. Okay. Fuck. I mean, obviously we got some other favorites. I like Alex Valle, John Choi. You know what I mean? Uh, just America versus Korea in Tekken. Even though Korea was like whooping ass, but there was like moments mm-hmm. in there. I mean, it's different now for Tekken Seven, but I'm talking about like real, like back in the day. <clears throat> but uh, but yeah. Okay. Next question. Oh, sorry. That's true. That is a fact. Uh, okay. Shout out to J Spec three thirty. Uh, 333 on Twitter. Oh. 
holidays just holidays just passed but what is your most memorable gaming related gift you ever received consoles games etc all right so my <clears throat> so for the holidays when i first got a sega saturn was ridiculous mm. i was like yo holy shit and mind you this is when i first went to the, that was around the time when the new joints was dropping you know i mean sega saturn playstation one because i was on the super nintendo mm -hmm. so this is how I, I involved i was with the sega saturn because uh the games was first and foremost was fire it's to the point where you know when the sega saturn comes with that demo that it comes with bug daytona and all that shit mm -hmm. it was just enough to give me that like to give me that feel to play the game even more you know what i mean it was just enough i got mine with the three free games no, I didn't get that I got one. Daytona USA, Virtual Fighter, and Virtual Cop. Nah, I got the first one of the first ones. Ain't come with the ain't come with the bundle. Oh shit, that bundle was OD. Yeah, ain't uh -huh. come with the bundle. And then um, I just I know I played it a lot. I didn't have a memory card. I no, I don't think I had a I, no. I didn't have a memory card. And the reason why I say that is no, they didn't. They didn't have a memory. They had the, the the backup RAM. Yeah, th that's a memory card. The joint you put in there for the cartridge. Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> in that case, yeah, in a, car, a cartridge. Yeah, I didn't have you had that to, at all. Because you had to do the trick to play X Men versus Street Fighter. Oh, in I, Japanese I, I'm, I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna get to that because that that was one of the games. <laughs> so um, I, I I remember when I first played Resident Evil ever in my life it was Resident Evil One for Sega Saturn, and that was when it had the uh. The actual live cinematics mm -hmm. like it got acted out when it was like running into the freaking um the the mansion and stuff like that like i remember a little shit like that obviously uh virtual on was one of my fucking games mm -hmm. but yeah like uh but the one game that was that 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 it was memorable to me was x-men versus street fighter that's when i bought the japanese version um and that's when you do the, the cartridge switch who taught you how to do it though the guy at the store. Me too. <laughs> yeah, the guy at the store. I was like, yo, he, I was, he was telling me, he was yep. like, yo, so this is what you got to do. This Game is World, yo. I once again, shout out to Game World. My man P, Matthew, you know all them, Chris, um, freaking Mr. Lee. Yo, they had the joint. He said, this. I'm like, what? I'm like, it's what you got to do. And then I couldn't do it for a minute because I was sticking the cartridge all the way in and it wasn't working. I'm like, so you got to pull this out a little bit like this. And ain't. I was like, oh, nah, That's God. some more other shit. They gave, they gave you some more other shit. That wasn't for me. You, you, had to, you had to switch the joint. But then when, when if you pushed it all the way down, for some reason, it didn't read it. I don't even remember that. I mean, I just remember, I don't remember the switch, but I don't remember all that. The switch was crazy. Hopefully, they didn't give me no bullshit. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe it was like that. But, um, but yeah, that was my memorable. And, um, yeah, I will, have to, <clears throat> I will have to lock in with that. Okay. Uh, for me... I can't remember which birthday it was, but when I had um, I had my Sega Genesis already. It's when um, I finally got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game okay. for the console. Oh, my gosh. I, I loved that game so much. I used to freaking you know, go to the pizza shop around the corner and feed that machine quarters. And that's what you know with the arcade, they got they got the loud music. They're like then 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 it was crazy because every day I used to like have the the freaking article, uh, the Toys R Us article, and I just look at the back and just look at the the, the games and everything like that mm -hmm. every day. Just and then when I finally got it, done, finished. I was in the house beating the game with each turtle, running it back. Like you, it's crazy how much you could. Like those games have playback value. You beat the game, go again, go again, go again. Like. Psh. Yeah, that was that was that was for me, man. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles too, the arcade game. I okay. still love that game to this day. That was a fine question. Shout out to, of course, J Spec three thirty three on Twitter. All right, all right, all right. All so right. Next one is from Artix V. Artix V. Yep. What does Dragon Ball Fighters lack to be as hype as NVC was? Okay. Um, I I'll answer that. Okay. Um. I'm gonna be very honest. Uh, uh, so I'm saying, what does Dragon Ball Fighters lack to be as hype as MV? So, see, that's, that's a tricky question. You're saying as hype. So I don't know. Are you talking about the crowd, or are you talking about just how if, if just the gameplay, the hype gameplay is, is what you're talking about? I mean, Dragon Ball got it. You know what I mean. The problem is right now is you don't see the whole cast getting love. You know what I mean. That's the problem. I mean, that was the same thing with MVC, but see, you're not you're not being specific <coughs> because of which MVC. So I'm gonna just say it as a whole. Uh, obviously, Marvel Two had the certain amount of teams, right? 
But in Marvel 3, you did have a lot of combinational teams. You know what I'm saying? So that's what kind of shined out in that game because it wasn't the same ones. Yeah, towards the end, you had the strong metas in the top eight, right? Like, you know, Doom, Virgil, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Doom, Virgil, um, something, something drones, but not everybody was making it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Uh, the, the, the Mag Dooms, wow, they, they, and the Zero May Cries. Like, them shits was getting out of hand. And, oh, my God, the Morgan Dooms was getting, out, was getting crazy towards the end. But it was still hype. Uh, through the tournament because you've seen stuff from like LLND you had the Chris Redfields I'm a Tourette's and stuff like that um, oh his Shenko that was like a part of the team <laughs> of LLND yeah. like that shit was kind of crazy you know what I mean you had Bum with the big bodies you had fucking two big bodies and Chris Redfield what? <laughs> right like there was there, there was times at certain times and in, in, in points in the game in the series where you've seen different teams really get hyped Dragon Ball kind of has that you know what I mean but you see how it's looking at the end of the meta, man. It's the same shit. Yeah. It's the same shit. And I, and I can speak on it. And this is no way me shaming on the game or shitting on the game. That's not what I'm saying. As me, as a spectator, you know what I mean? It it could it could tend to get a, a lot dry. Where in Marvel, you'll see most of the different variations of teams and there's mad lore behind it. And that's the thing about Dragon Ball that keeps it real good when you watch it because it all depends on the lore and who's involved. You know what I mean? Uh, I kind of miss, like right now in Dragon Ball, I kind of miss Hook. Hook. He hasn't been around for a while. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He's been on the streaming thing. But, like, this is me just talking about Fresh when it comes to the stories. But it, but in terms of... Uh, now, if we're going to talk mechanics, I like Marvel overall. But, again, it's because Marvel... Ha it's already been ahead of the game because it's, it's had so many variations. You know what I mean? So, I can't even really uh, freaking compare. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um... So many. This, it, see, that's a tricky question if you really think about it. Like in terms of height. Yeah, I mean, so you know, there's a lot of Team Gohan players now. By the way, I know. <laughs> I, I actually want to ask you how you feel about that. Uh, that. That was a question in there. I, I, I oh don't really? Know I, oh, maybe I don't know if I. I don't know if I. I, I got it though. So that's Team Gohan. I know. I will gracefully and respectfully um, leave that alone I, in all fairness because I haven't been in the game so I don't want to I don't it's not my place to say anything speak on that so I'm gonna let I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna let it rock I can speak on it if you want to okay you wanna hear from my side sure man I, uh, people starting to realize his damage now mm. Mm -hmm. All right. We've been saying that he was he was this destruct. This is listen. I I I I play a lot of Dragon Ball Fighters at the time when me when when Matrix was playing Dominion. I was playing that shit a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I played that shit a lot. I, I had like two teams, but then I, I stuck with one. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So these guys was the team Gohans, and as the tournaments was progressing, like yeah, you know everybody's on this Goichi Sonic Fox shit. You know you got other people. You know the Piccolos and all that <coughs> from Hook and Apology Man. But I'm like, yo, why nobody talking about Team Gohan though? You know what I'm saying? Like I'm playing Chris and 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 and, and Dominion. I'm like, yo, this oh, this little motherfucker do a lot of damage. <laughs> yes. Yo, what the fuck? And it, it, it had me questioning myself. Like, yo, you sure we we all got the same HP? Like, this shit was kind of getting crazy, son. <laughs> I started seeing the bomb loops and all that shit. Oh, but, but, I'm, but, I'm but, but yeah, this, this 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 is a lot of Team Gohans. For instance, nope. <laughs> I play Team Gohan now. <laughs> yo, 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 you play K Kid Boo? Nope, uh, nope. I play Ginyu now. I play Ginyu now. Huh? I see. I was like, yo, 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 you don't play Bardock? Nope. Nope. I play Team Gohan now. <laughs> you went to the cast. <laughs> yeah, and that's no diss to him. He nice. You know what I mean, he nice. I'm not even gonna say his name. Fuck, I'm gonna say his name, Lord Knight. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna, I was, I was just gonna leave it for the people that have been paying attention, but okay. But it's not a bad thing though. Same shit in the yeah, game. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. That's how you know the character got good. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That combo, thematico. Woo. Yep, my legs still don't come now. Yo, motherfuckers be looking right. They be looking to the left. <laughs> yeah. They he look to the left and sometimes look to the right. <laughs> oh, good God! Oh, good I've God! I've seen the second hit of it mm -hmm. be the cross up uh, super dash. I mean, so, but, but in terms of hype, um, I would have to say just, just, it, it might have something, something to do with the mechanics of the game being that, you know, you, you, once, once, once contact is made, 
you don't see so much interaction you you're you're watching more action there's one person acting on another for quite some time I mean, it's and like then that. It's like that in Marvel. no 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 i'm talking about in terms of of, of nooch like what like blocking oh, okay, right? before okay, okay, somebody okay. gets opened up yeah when we get hit yeah you watch but i'm talking about <laughs> in neutral there's more interaction in marvel but um in dragon ball the interaction is more like oh okay i made him block and now he's gonna get strung up for a good two rotations and yeah. two assists and i might steal a turn and let it go back like you know maybe maybe that so you're not really seeing them like box as much it's more turn based and but RPGs. Um, yeah so maybe i think i think that definitely has something to do with it because when you watch a marvel game like you're seeing constant like back and forth of 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 advantage and disadvantage move, and stuff movement, yeah and i'm saying the good blocks and yep. the push blocks <clears throat> and stuff like things that things getting out yeah yeah so I, I that makes things hype too it keeps you at the edge of your seat you know so for me that that's that's what does that i could agree with that i could agree with that as well. i could add that see see i i, I got tricked it's a trick <laughs> <laughs> it's a trick okay so hi i'm tafari Tafar I. No, Tafar I, excuse me. Tafar I. All right. Do you feel there's a place in 2020 for hard fighting games? I know you guys are OGs of the FGC, but keeping in mind the younger player base does the younger player base not used to mechanics being a barrier to entry. Big fan of the show. Great question. Great question. Um I absolutely do feel there's a place for um, hard hard fighting games. Um, the the only thing with that is the the support and backing that they'll get, and how actually fun the game is. A, a game can't be hard and boring. Facts. You know what I mean. Facts. If it's hard and fun, <laughs> then people will definitely engage in it. You know what I mean. And and I I definitely think there's a place for it. You know. But it, it has to be fun. So, but on the flip side of that coin, like, what makes a game fun? Broken shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like unpredictable, like, flashy comebacks. So, to me, that that aspect of, like, an unpredictable, flashy comeback um, takes away from a little bit from the difficulty of a game. You know what I mean? Because it's like, if I could work so hard to get you in the situation and then you do boom, explosion, and then you, you're you able to make a comeback just like that, that takes away from the skill for me. Now, like I think the Dragon Ball um, Spark system is perfect for that. Spark is not like a overpowered comeback factor. It, it's That's how it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Like So I like that aspect of it. But I mean... You know, people just seem to like the the V trigger, the X factor, like that random explosion because it's like, oh, well, like what an unlikely turn of events. And like, I wouldn't say boom, I, boom. I wouldn't say people like, and I took out you all. It's more so what they just got handed. handed. Well, I mean, but but also I'm t I'm, th I'm talking in terms of spectators too. Okay, 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 okay. okay. You know, but when people are watching, it, it's exciting to see. Okay, say less. Yeah, to see somebody get robbed. Hey, hell, I don't play Street Fighter. I get at the edge of my seat when I see Adam robbing people. It sucks. I, you know, I can see listen, somebody. Listen, man. This is this is this is how tight. serious that is, right? I'll use Adam as an example. I watch. I'm a spectator. Obviously, I watch a lot of Street Fighter. People know that I commentate the game and a lot of the CPTs. You know what I'm saying? Um, I watch, and I'm like going crazy. Like, oh my god, if he blocks this button into V trigger. He might be fucked. <laughs> so then you see people like space him out the whole time. <laughs> just shadow boxing the limb. Like it's just a little sometimes it's just a standing medium kick, right? If it's standing medium kick, it's it's normal, right? But into the V trigger, it's a little more spicier. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a little mm -hmm. more spicier. Mm -hmm. And then the guess happens and then they, they just go in a whole loop of shit. Yes. Then she start moving. All of a sudden, nobody want to break the throws. <laughs> nobody want a V-reversal because the shit could get baited out. Yes. It's a lot. There's a lot ways. Mm -hmm. See, like, so, like, this is what I like about um, quote-unquote harder fighting games. I like fighting games, the era I came up in, I like fighting games to, to be akin to a sport so you know when you when you play basketball when you watch basketball you know the coach 
has a lot of insight and strategy to the game, but he's he's not out there applying it because <clears throat> it takes the athletic aspect of it also. So like LeBron James is, is such a great player because he's athletic and he has the IQ. He puts yeah. them together. You know what I mean? Yep. He takes the brains and the bronze together. Boom. That was Professor Hulk. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, y'all. Like, like, y'all heard you that. You took shit. the brain and the brawn. Boom, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. But like, I see. I like that about <laughs> <laughs> fighting the older fighting games, also because you know you you had to have a certain level of execution to be able to to play and contend with people. So like, that's like being in shape for a sport. So nowadays, like like I've said, like not not so much the execution piece of the deal. Now you get them pretty much focused on gameplay, but it's good to have that execution barrier also. You know what I mean? Like it just makes training like that much more rewarding. Yep. And practice, you know, for the people that do put in the time, like, yeah, okay, new players, they don't have time to spend and get really good at a game to be able to compete with people that do have the time. But listen. We're not professional athletes either. Like, they train for what they do. They put in a lot of time for what they do to achieve a certain level that any Joe Schmo can't just come in and compete with them. I like to look at, at fighting games the same way, especially being that it's so competitive now. And, you know, like, we can't come such a long way to where there's sponsors and teams and everything. Like, the average gamer should be like, hey, damn, like, that guy's so good. He must practice. Or he must put in a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of work. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean, and like, it's almost like a little slap in the face to to the professional gamers, the professional competitive games, the ones that compete, to have to like, you know, like they play eight hours. I know people that would play online eight hours a day, practice and practice and practice. You know what I mean? Hitting them one frame links, you know, doing what they got to do to reach a certain level. And then like, okay, you know what? You put in eight hours. We're gonna make sure this guy could put in two hours, and he's gonna compete with you. You know, so um, like I do think that there is a place in them. I just think that we have to become uh, reacclimated to that. And as long as the game is fun at the same time and and the, the characters have to appeal to you. If yeah. it's it's much better when you're familiar with the characters and their characters based off of like, you know, like what you kind of grew up on sometimes or like, you know, like everybody knows Dragon Ball. Uh, everybody knows Marvel characters, stuff like that, comic book characters, like shit like that. When it's like brand new, just spanking new characters, you know, it's going to be a little harder to have an emotional attachment to the characters. But as long as you get the interest from from there, then, yeah, I think there's a place for for um, hard FGC games. Definitely. Yeah, I could, I, could, I, could, I could agree on that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just a piggy bank in terms of the difficulty. Like, um, there is games right now that it's difficult to play. Don't get me wrong. That's in in 2020 right now. You know you got Tekken. Like mm. I wouldn't I wouldn't even take that plunge with Tekken because I feel like you got to be more uh, seasoned in the older games. But I've heard from other Tekken OGs that it's it's, it's one of the easiest Tekkens to play. Yeah, this way. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard from, that too. I've heard this from a from lot several of, several Tekken OGs. Yeah, from a lot of uh, yeah. Tekken OGs. You know what I mean? So I can't say, I can't speak on it because I'm not part. Of that equation when it comes to Tekken, obviously it's at FGC, sure, but I, got, I never really practiced no shit in that game. Because when I see it, I'm like, damn, there's a lot of freaking moves. Yeah, they yeah. all got yeah. names. Yeah, <laughs> every single move got a name. Like, yeah. like you know, there's a lot of moves. You know what I'm saying? So like, in terms of the execution, yeah, I kind of agree. Uh, I remember when Marvel Three came out, people were saying, well, now everybody could be IFC yipes. It's like that was a joke in like New York with, with some of the homies. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But, Everybody IFC now. But I don't take, yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, it wasn't IFC. Yes, it was IFC. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Uh, it's just, it's just the thing about fighting games now is just now is to get the crowd moving. It's more so easy entry level with shit when it comes to execution. I mean, you just touched up on it. Like, literally, just touched up on everything, to be honest. I would love to see some difficulty in the FGC because um, I, I, I respect stuff like, uh, like, let me give you an example. Street Fighter Five obviously, it's a little more easy on the execution side, right? I think the hard part would be um, the setups and just more so the matchup knowledge. You know what I mean? Because in that game, you don't have that much uh, defensive options. Mm -hmm. So I like I like when people try to get crafty. It's like when exactly they're gonna mash a button, when they're gonna randomly jump. Mm -hmm. So like that, like I can appreciate that because it's, it's like a survival match. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But the thing that I miss is uh, 
the people that was heavy execution monsters, for example, like Sako. Like I don't even see Sako express himself that much anymore. Only because, you know, it's it's a little limited. And I mean you kinda saw it with Minat, but then everybody could kinda do it. And that's not a Sako thing. Like there was combos. I was playing Evil Ryu. And, you know, lucky for me, I, I landed the, the, the Sako combo on a Rufus player. You know what I'm saying? Ricky. Yeah. Um, in tournament. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I did the thing. But I'm like, yo, that was one time. I don't know if I'm going to do it again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's one of those things. Like, Sako was doing this just all the time. You know what I mean? I mean, not all the time. I go like 90%. But, but, but pretty much what I'm trying to say is there's no real uh, expressive way to show the execution and the hard work. Right? Obviously, Sako was one of them. You know, even shit, even enjoying da uh, Daigo get get down with the Evil Ryu, and then he started getting his own swag with it. You know what I mean? But that's from hard work and dedication, because you ain't have a lot of Evil Ryus. You know what I mean, now you got like a thousand Kage's. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you ain't have a thousand Evil Ryus. Sure, you had them like in the online world, like you just the main ones that made it. You know what I mean? Uh, was up there, like you know, PR Balrog, Snake, Snake Eyes. But that's that's that comes with the practice of the execution. But I mean, there was there was tactics in that game that made things easier. Like the one frame links when you when you attach the 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 plank button the start button and yeah. the, like that shit was kind of wild you know yeah, what I mean yeah I, I was like that's a thing <laughs> yeah I wasn't even doing it I wasn't doing that you know what I'm saying so uh, yeah a little difficulty w w would be cool because then then you could really see uh, people's uh, hard label coming to fruition you know what I mean so I, I love seeing stuff like that that's why I still see it in Marvel too you know what I mean the game is still evolving yeah there's a lot of shit from a lot of certain players that just bring out bring it out you know mm -hmm. what I mean. To, to its fullest potential so good question good question I like that one yeah yeah Chris hit it on the money for sure alright wow let me get this one views some yeah see, views, views up, up in, in London. London he said how views up in London yeah shout out so that's his Twitter uh he or she how different would the meta be for Marvel 2 if Sentinel didn't exist and Storm couldn't run away <laughs> Well, what a fucking amazing question. Well, if Sentinel wasn't in the game, wow, deletion, like he's just not in the game. Oh, yeah, a lot of characters are fucking rock. <laughs> Fuck, and Storm can't run? Like she's just, she's like free fall, like Magnus? Shit. <laughs> Shit. You see, um, you see more Iron Man, you'll see more War Machine. Cable will probably be on the rise even more. You'll see way more Dow Sims. You'll see way more Mega Reds. <clears throat> she can probably see Guile and Charlie's from time to time. Yeah. You probably see Morgan in the, in the mix. More Rogues. You know what I'm saying? Way more Sun Sun. Way more Blackheart. Um, damn. Yeah, we'll probably be playing a new game. Strata Doom might be prevalent. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, like indefinitely. Shh. Yeah, because you can't run. Now you can't run away from the shit. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Ooh. Oh shit! <laughs> Doom, you'll see more Doom. Mm hmm. Yeah, the game will be wild different for sure. The metal be. I mean, the, the key components still that Magnus will still be bullshit. Guard breaks will still be in there. Mm hmm. You know what I mean? <coughs> Fuck, you doing a scratch off with it? No, I, I, I was just. <laughs> <coughs> um. Damn. Yeah. 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 Things wild, open up crazy. Yeah. yeah wild, wild different. Things to open up. No crazy. DAC. The best DAC yeah. in the game will be Max Storm. Then at that point, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's some good DACs with some of the low tech characters, like like Storm into them. It's a, it's a proton cannon. <laughs> yeah. Storm into fucking hyper viper. Who knows? Nah, nah, that will be ass. Unless you have like a. Third. Nah, that works though. No, it works. It's good. It's good. I'm talking about it's no damage. DAC, like you kill somebody after yeah, or, no. or before. The triple DACs. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it'll definitely be a different game. You'll still have the guard breaks in there, so it won't change. But at least you'll have characters like Ken on screen, too. You, you, you might see more big bodies getting played. Juggernaut, Hawks. Yeah. Oof. I think I think more of the cast will be played. Frank. For, for sure. Like, 100%. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Justin definitely wouldn't have lost the Dark Prince with Ruby, Jill, Ken. Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> okay, so um, Egotistic Raichu. Okay. Twitter. My question is after your Marvel Third Strike etc. sessions, do you guys usually have a favorite hangout spot to eat or shoot the shit about the matches you guys played? If so, what were the memorable moments for you both? I all right. So very good question. Um back in the day, 
I'll tell you, I'll tell you from back from the from the arcade era and the console era. So back in the day, um, in the arcade era, we did play at Chinatown Fair. Mm -hmm. So we would always pick up this so many restaurants in the area we'd always pick a place to eat my personal favorite if i wanted to get some uh chow sufan roast pork of white rice was noodle town noodle town um i did like shanghai for the sesame chicken shanghai but shanghai was the shit for the sesame mm -hmm. chicken yes mm -hmm. and um wohop of course if, you, if it's late night and nothing else was open wohop is popping also so we would like go to a myriad of places like that um once the console started it, it pretty much turned into like what was in the area so as in marvel two days we played at um, my boy law's house the, the law you seen him at bots uh, we called the shelter from freaking um eight mile yeah uh what we would do <laughs> we, we would just go to the go to the corner store bodega pick up some some burgers chopped cheese or the sandwiches and come back and then mm. like watch the footage literally like we we have like a little eight hour session we would put the, the vhs tape in then once the tape was done, we would go get food and then come back and watch the tape and, you know, see how our matches played out, what we did wrong and where we can make improvements. And, and you know, we would eat and chop it up like that. Yo, Lawrence has mad tapes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Um, when when at, at Bum's house, when I was playing Marvel 3, like, it'd be like 7 in the morning when we leaving a session and, like, right around the corner going towards the train station, there was this little spot, like, bakery, like, breakfast spot. We would go in there and, and always get some, some breakfast. And chop it up. Yeah, and chop and chop it up. We And we'd wind up being in there for, like, another hour. And sometimes we'd even go back around the corner and, and play some more or we'd watch, like, a random freaking animated film or something like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, like, that. that's that's what we used to do. <clears throat> you know Pardon what I mean? Me. <clears throat> back off. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. Same thing for me. I mean, when you when you guys used to come to my crib, we used to go to uh, Jim Jimbo's. We Jim ordered burgers and shit. Jim Jimbo's. Um, yeah, but it was that was basically. And, and when we talk about the matches, yes, not all the time, because at uh, at one point it wasn't even like that with the with the syndicate. It was not like that. If that cell didn't give a fuck about no syndicate, <laughs> so we, no, we wasn't helping each other. We was trying to beat each other's ass. <laughs> then after everything said and done, when that, when the, when the storms when the storms settle, then we, we we would talk about matches and shit like that. But uh, but yeah, that literally those are the same restaurants I went to Shanghai, uh, and I think they still there. Freaking uh, well I know a, a Noodle House, uh, Noodle Town still there. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't go to Wuhan no more for 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 many reasons. Okay, but I, we we ain't trying shit on no business. Mm. I ain't no hate. There was a lot of messed up shit there. All right. Go ahead. Top five stages and stage OST in any fighting game, no order. From from Yell Rock 22. From Yell Rock 22, yes. Top five stages and stage OST in any fighting game, no order. Damn. Any fighting game. I ain't gonna lie, Street Fighter 4 has some some bangers. Oh yeah, yeah. Street Fighter Four has some bangers. I mean, I, I would say Marvel Two, but most of them shit just kind of trash. I didn't really like all of them. The original, uh, you like the original OST, Marvel Two? I like the jazz. The jazz is cool, but I'm talking about overall. I mean, th the fact that we can hack it with edits is just that definitely changed things. But I, I was, I was feeling the dun 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 dun. Some of the joints is fire. I think overall. I mean, so all right. So for me, I love, 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 love training stage on Street Fighter Five. No, 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 Street Fighter Four. Yeah. That's my shit. Um, I like. I mean, it's not it's not so much a stage. It's it's the character selection of Marvel One. <laughs> the Street Fighter Four shit used to get mad obnoxious, son. Um, Yo, oh, my fault, my fault. I, yeah, I love Marvel One's training stage music. I mean, um, the character, the. Where you? Spider, hear you. Yo, I swear, CD is funny. Not just not, not to go away from the question. Freaking CD, uh, he sees Marvel One, right? Because he's a young buck. He sees it. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he was like, wait a minute. He's like, a, 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 a sis? 
you you, you got a, a a small amount of a, a of calls in your sis. <laughs> He's like, it's limited. He's like, that's fair as fuck. <laughs> yes. He's like, that's fair. Like I remember, but there was all types of shit. And there. there's oh. a lot of gems he was doing. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, he's like, yeah, 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 he used to play this. <laughs> that was one, that was one of those shit. But nah, nah, nah. All right, so you said so that's three. You said uh, three, five, um, five training music. Third strike got just got like music. Yeah, third strike for me, that did it. That shit is fire. Um. <laughs> I like the I like the New York the New York subway joint the Ken joint. Oh, I love I love um, Dragon Ball Fighters uh, Goku Black Steam. Fire. That's my that's my shit. Um. Hmm. Stage. I'm trying to think what I what I was grooving to. Oh 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 fucking um, St Vega. Vegas, hell yeah, that, that, like that, that shit, shit was popping. Yes, and Bison. Oh, and Bison. I was, that was that was one of them in my, boom, my top five. Boom, boom, that yo, that belt was old. Let's come in the <laughs> my man come with the K. That Bison yo, used to move. Dice, <laughs> son. He be rolling dice in the dice game. Uh, that was four. I mean, I can. No, 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 I, I finished mine. Ah, uh, so I, uh, so definitely. One of them is the uh, the Bison theme for Super Turbo. Yes, that shit is fire. Um, let me see. I like uh, I like Psylocke's theme from Marvel Super Heroes. I like uh, Wolverine's theme in Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Uh, let's see. That's three. My shit was the jungle. In Street Fighter 4, I always pick the jungle. The you damn sure did. That's that scheme music. Yes, the jungle in Street Fighter 4. Damn. Let me see. What was that shit from Tekken 5? Be, be, bewildering. The, the Moonlit joint? The Moonlight. Yeah, the Moonlight what? Moonlight Wilderness? Wilderness. That's a bewildering. Wilderness, yes. That shit was fire. The yeah. That's the one, right? That shit goes bing, 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 bing. That's the one, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like that one. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah, yeah, that's just fire. So that, that's my top five right there. Okay, okay. My bad. All right, let's see. The next one. Are those all of them? No. The We're at Jose Anthony Villanueva. Oh, okay, okay, okay. AKA great. TVC underscore jabber underscore jaw. So. What the fuck? Wait. You got it? Yes. Oh, yes. uh, yeah, this is easy for me. Someone you cannot beat as a player and what you really respect about them. Uh, so you use Justin Wong? No, 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 no. <laughs> Desmond? No. It's going to be you right now. Definitely you. Hell yeah. And what I respect, he's a perfect blend of athleticism and brains rolled into one. So I respect the art. Uh. But I'm, I'm coming, though. I'm coming. Yeah, because you can swim in the Rayatsu. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel comfortable about yeah, that now. Still getting your ass waxed. It's cool. It's cool. I'm coming. I'm coming. Still getting your ass waxed. I'm coming. Waxed. And I'm coming for the Thrax first. Cool. Whatever you want, baby. I want the Thrax first. First. You want that one? Yes. Yeah, oh, I be laying your shit out, cuz. Yes, I'm coming for Seth the first. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you like Maggie? He said Seth first. No, I'm not going to rock Maggie. Uh-uh. So I'm, it's a psych? I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. <laughs> Beat him. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Oh. Oh. Whew. No, keep, go ahead. Keep, you can swim in it. Swim in it, baby. Go ahead. Swim in it, baby. <laughs> shit. Stone first? Stone first. <laughs> Hit him with the jab, Ruby. Look, look, look. What? Hit him with the jab. Yeah, all right. Oh, God. I hear that. Woo. Okay. Oh, that's a Mark Maxwell sight. Stone says, woo. Shit. All right. Um, someone you cannot beat as a player and what you really respect about them. Let me see. Shit. I feel like I'm always capable of beating everybody. But in terms of, like, getting spanked, yeah, I think I have to say Justin. Justin, yeah. 
Justin. You beat Punk before? Yeah, no, but that's that's it's, you gotta have a character for him. <laughs> <laughs> like he's nice. Don't get me wrong. He got like he got like we just can't go on with some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have a character for him. Cause when I was being pull up, I'm not I'm not taking nothing away from the kid. The guy's amazing. But this, when, when when season two was popping, I was beating Punk and sets. I was, I was. I was saying I was picking. I had Yuri. I had Yuri in season two. Come on, that shit was bullshit. What I was doing to him, son. Like that shit was bullshit. Like like come on, you know what I'm saying. But then I, I came in the ring. I was playing Kage and shit. Smoked. Smoked. You need characters for that guy. I mean, I mean, honestly, if I had to pick for you. Um, only person I've, I've never seen you beat so far. I, I would say Flocker. No, I, I mean I'd say Sonic Fox. No, nah, no, nah, but I, I'm not. I'm not active. I mean, yeah, but you play. You play MK. Yeah, he smoked my. <laughs> <laughs> That's just bad. That's just bad. I wish I played him again when I got nice. Cause then I, I really had I had Quan Chi for that ass, <laughs> and I had Jax. You know what I'm saying? I had some shit. I was ready. But, but, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, I can't say yo. Nah, he was he yo. was era black again. So this is era black shit before the, the patch. The fucking it was like plus double digits. The fucking sambo. Yo, he was oppressing my shit. And he was with punished with overhead normals. So in the case that I, I it went and I did it and I didn't because I'm a Capcom dude, so you know we naturally block low, mm -hmm. right? But th that's that's how it happened. Okay, yo, I had to learn how to stand block crazy. Okay, yo, my dome, yo, was getting socked. Cause so, look, 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 look. this one made it in like in other games, right? Like, okay, my dome got blessed, but I know he had the man had to jump and go over my head or hit me with an overhead. But overhead didn't lead into no crazy shit. No Marvel three day, <laughs> Marvel three day. But I was blocking those. You know what I'm saying? I was blocking those. Mm-hmm. And I'm saying Mortal Kombat All you needed was a ball And you ding me in the head I'm in a loop of shit <laughs> My man Aaron Black said Overhead I forgot what that was Was that forward two? I forgot what it was He, he, he gum butted you in the dome hit you, and, and, and it led to a, uh, to the legs So it was a high and low Right And then he threw the shit the, And I go in the air But if you block all of that So I'm like okay cool So I gotta He hit me with it first But then I got accustomed to it but I still had to take shit afterwards. <laughs> so he did high, low. I blocked the high, then low. Then he did the fucking kick, kick, kick. That shit was like plus, <laughs> plus 15. I think it was. It was plus double digits. It was some crazy shit. And then I had to guess again afterwards. Oh, God. Yeah, he impressed my shit. <laughs> he impressed my shit. No round brown, my shit. No round brown, my shit. But now nah, I would have to say, all right, so if there's a guy that I never beat was Flocker Marvel 3. Yeah, I beat him in a set, but... I don't give a fuck about that if I knew that I could never beat the guy in the tournament. Like, I really didn't give a fuck. So, like, literally, the, one of the only guys I did not beat in, in Marvel 3 in tournament was Flocker. But, see, the thing is, uh, Justin, I, 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 I was with him in multiple games. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, like, there was always True. some shit. Okay. Like, yeah, I think the only time I beat him, I was always close to beating Justin in Street Fighter 4 and singles when we did bump into each other. Mm -hmm. But the only time I was really beating him was in team tournaments. That's when team tournaments was popping back in the day. So, that was like, yeah. But just don't say Justin, yeah. Justin. Okay. All right. I got the next one. Across all the years, regions and from who, baby? From who? Oh, my fault. Yo, that's crazy. Uncle Viz. I'm slacking. I'm sorry, man. Twitter. That's my man, Uncle Viz. Uncle bro. Viz. He, he, he in the Discord. The team going. That's the team going on do right there, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At Uncle Viz on Twitter. I'm sorry, pardon me, because the question is good. So I go straight to the question. Um, across all the years, regions and all the rivalries. What are your, what are the top three FGC popples? Mm. I'll, I'll start. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Um, I'll put myself number one. Well, I, I, I won't even say number one. I'll put him up there in the top three. Uh, when when I beat Justin and I and I got up and set the champs here. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, beat his too. Um, okay, he had it coming. So he was talking some wild shit that day, <laughs> and I had the cane. So if you if you want to know, just go watch uh winners, uh bracket seasons beatings two. On Zach on ZachD.com. Just go and you'll see what I'm talking it's on, about. It's, it's, on, it's on YouTube, baby. It's, it's on, on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's season Beauty 2, Justin versus Jax. It'll pop up. All right. Um, that's no, that's one. Two would have to be <laughs> Bot <laughs> Smooth Viper. Mm. And it's not even not, not the not the not the obvious one. Not the obvious one. Not the joint with him and Neo. Um when he said, I'm alive. <laughs> He said, I'm alive. <laughs> Who was that match again? I can't remember. I can't remember. But it, that that was definitely yo, one of my favorite. I was just like in the side, like, wow, you guys are some joke artists, me. 
I'm like, yo, and, and, and he got away, and he won. See, ya. all right, third one. Damn, I'm going to third throwback. Let me see. All right, I'll, I'll do a little more recent times. Uh, the real law. Free for me. The real law. Poke chop. Where they're playing a set. It was some shit they were saying way beforehand, like during the months. And um, this was a Tekken Tag 2. And fucking Poke Chop, for, for people that know who Poke Chop is, this guy is a funny guy. And he just, you know, his pop post is crazy. Like he's literally shitting on this man while he's playing him. Like literally talking shit to him. Like he talks so much shit, he broke up a sweat and he grabbed like the napkin pile, like that. Like the, 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 I'm gonna show you that shit. He grabbed like the, the, the roll of napkins. He grabbed it. He went like mad classic. And he said, <laughs> that shit is, yo, that shit is funny as hell. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you out of that shit later, Ruby. But uh, those are my top three. There's way more. I could I could say way more. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I had to spread it out because it's it's all Marvel too. If I if if I do pop balls, it's all Marvel too. Fuck it. <laughs> all right, guy. I'm done with that. So, guy, guy. Um, because he said across all the years. I know. Okay, go for it. And Marvel, yeah, we played Marvel two for, two, for ten years. That means. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> all right. So for number one for me <laughs> is hands down Arthur can take me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was up there. He was. Up, if I just did Marvel two, it was up. Yeah, that shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. Both of them. The one where he, <laughs> the thank God for Sentinel, and give me the and, tower power, with Brandon. <laughs> that one. Where you at? Yo, that shit was explosive. Nah, I, I, I'm, gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest. I seen the pop off coming. I ain't gonna lie. I seen the pop off coming you know because <gasps> at that time, just in the fucking building. It was one of those things, and he was with a squad where they felt like. They was nice, but nobody was giving them was batting an eye. You know what I'm saying? So it was one of those things that was building up. So I kind of figured that it was gonna be a pop off. What got me shocked with that one was the faces in the background. Yes. Yo, my man Justin was like Justin Noel, Kev, like, like, Kel. Like, 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 like saying that because Arthur's going left to right, he all over the place. This motherfucker Justin. Noel was like, no, he had this face. He had the. He had the. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and Kev, Kev was shocked. Kev, Dominion, shout out to Dominion. My man was shocked, bro. He was just like, and then like looking to the side, like like trying to talk to somebody and shit. Buck Ness, baby, what we? Oh yeah. <laughs> he said, you seen that shit? Yo, he said, what he said? He was like, he's like, yes, yes. <laughs> Brandon, I just got the text message. He's done. No, but he did it. He, yo, he got the. He, he's a done. Yeah. Brandon, I just got the text message. He's done. He said, "Yo, fuck that, fuck that." He's like, "Oh, baby, movie." <laughs> oh. If you, if you guys must know, when when we did the FGC stories, and you see me with the backpack, the backpack is in that footage. He was wearing a backpack. Yes. Oh. And then the second one was when he beat uh, Mega Man DS for top eight. That's what you said. Both yeah. of them. So both no, numbers in your no, no, they they they're, they're together. They're together. Okay. Um, an, right. another one for me was when Eric fr freaking smooth vibe of freaking Hulkamania the shirt after me and scam B. You seen that video? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. The slow he said. <laughs> and to add on to that, damn, he and he did beat him in a game that he don't really play. Yeah, it's <laughs> just Dragon Ball Fighters. If people uh, don't know, oh my God, that that was some salt. And um, the final for me, uh, uh, it's it's it, it won me over. It's gonna be me. My pop off at um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, something you know something you know, entered my yo, soul. Yo, yo, it's crazy because you screamed first already. You said, yeah, ah, and then you stopped. You that's it. <laughs> the emo. <laughs> Yo, put that shit in the friend of no frills, man. <laughs> no, but it's the pause. The pause. You said, oh, oh. <laughs> Yo, you seen the shit I sent you with the cell screen? That shit said, oh, the cell. I said, I'll find MSPs. He said, I'll find MSPs. He said, that's facts. That's right. He, he does yeah, play. Yeah. That's facts. That's facts. 
Oh man! All right, I like that. Okay, good, okay. Good question. Damn, man. All of them all. I ship this. Them all. <laughs> I try to spread it. I try to spread the love. Okay. Oh, uh, this is an interesting one. Okay, so shout out to old school kid too. Mm-hmm. If you had a chance to bring any celebrity to the podcast, uh, okay. who would it be? Ooh. Male, female. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Um. For me, I would, I would, I would bring Will Smith. Okay. I just love his energy, man. His his energy and his whole like outlook and philosophy on life. I just feel like I I vibe with him so well. Yeah. So. Okay. Have so that, that, that's Willie. Me. Yeah. Will Smith, man, me. You know, because I'm on my asshole shit sometimes. I feel like Al Pacino. Oof. I bring Al Pacino. You look like he'll really talk to you about some shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like he'll really sit you. He'll really sit you down and really talk. I feel like I, I, I could be a a wise guy with him. You know what I'm saying? In a funny way. Don't say Al Pacino. Now, in terms, of, I, I was gonna just, I was just gonna cop out and say shot there. <laughs> I'm just gonna cop. I'll just say that. Fuck it. We're gonna have a, like like a conversation. I mean, I have a conversation. Shot no doubt. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I have a conversation. But yeah, let's go to the next one. So from poverty, coon. Poverty, poverty. Yeah. Oh, I said poverty. Yeah. Poverty coon on Twitter. If there was an ultimate Marvel Infinite, what characters changes would you want to see or be added? That's free. Just put X Men, yes, man. Yes, yes, X Men. Yeah, just put some, just put some X Men. <laughs> That's it. That's like, I, like I understand they try to go with the law and all that shit, but like, 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 come on, like, like, come on, come on. Yeah, just X Men changes, uh, and put a backpack because that shit was kind of crazy. You have, you have to sit there. You have to sit there. <laughs> Shout out to Combo Fiend, man. On that part of that engine, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so next is uh, Deku. Deku Nabi. Uh, Deku Nabi. Excluding Yipes Evo win. Top three tournaments or events y'all enjoyed the most, either playing or spectating. Big, big, big fan. Okay, De- Deku Nabi. All right. Hmm. Top three tournaments or events y'all, enjo- y'all enjoyed the most, either playing or spectating. Okay. Uh, number one would be Seasons Beatings. Um, I think I could say Evo. I would say Evo. And number three, Chinatown Fair tournaments. Or oh, the break. <clears throat> Chinatown Fair or the break. East Coast tournaments for Marvel 2 at the time. Okay. Um, so those will be my my favorites. Tournaments. Um, uh, Evo 2K6 for me. That was my favorite Evo. Oh, we're going specific. No, I'm, I mean, I'm just saying. I don't want to just say Evo in general. Because Evo. Okay, okay, all right, all right. <clears throat> Okay, okay, it does make sense. Excluding Yanks, Evo went five because that was Evo seven. Okay, okay. All right, yeah. So, so uh, let me take it back. Hold on. So, so the two for sure is uh, CF break tournaments. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, seasons beatings, all of them. Evo five because that was my first time going to Evo, and I I, I met the West Coast guys for the like. Okay. But well, most okay. of the West Coast guys for the first time, and then we actually played like a shit ton of games. Okay. Yeah. Those are my three. Um. So I said Evo 2K6, turn of or, or events. It's a good question. Yeah, that is a good question. I mean, <clears throat> the Super Saiyan showdown was popping. That shit was fire. Yeah, because I got to meet all the voice actors and everything. That was that was that was so cool. Of of all, of, yeah. I still got both of the footage too. Yeah, I put all of them up. And I'd have to say, hmm, it's too. It's 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 so many. It's it's yeah. Probably probably a season's beatings also for me. Yeah, most definitely because it's it's so many. It's Every so many single many. one of those season's beatings I competed and spectated. That's yeah. why I said every single one. Like Evo, I like I can't say every single one because I stopped competing after 2016. Mm-hmm. 
No, bullshit. I competed in 2017. 2018, 2019 was the only years I didn't play. At Evo. Yeah, those are literally my only years that I did not play at Evo. It was 2018, 2019. So, yeah. Yeah, and o- o- <laughs> was 06 when um, Kels played Duck? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that Evo was fire. That uh, Evo was fire. That was your f- second Evo. I went 03, 04, <laughs> missed 05, 06, third. Third, yeah, okay. All right. Oh, that was good. Yeah. All right, that's all. That's all the questions. Those are all of them. Yeah. Damn, really? Y'all was vibing with these joints. <laughs> Y'all was looking. Oh, okay, it is. Let, it is. All right. Let, all right. Let, me, let me see if there's one one more random that I could pull if somebody says something last minute. Damn, that, that was 15 questions. Okay, I see. I see one. Wow, that's interesting. Oof. Okay, I mean, there's one more we can do. Go for it. If you would cross over Capcom into another versus game, what universe would it be? Ooh. So, so hold on, hold on. Let, me, can, let me, let me, let me, let me rephrase that a little bit. Uh, first of all, shout out to Raheem Williams. Um, that, okay. That's a great question, Ooh. but I, I do want to change one thing about it because I actually thought about this so much, and that is actually one of my dreams. So instead of Capcom, I'm gonna cross over Marvel. I would love to see Marvel versus DC. Facts. Marvel versus DC with the, with a Capcom engine, of course. <laughs> like like the the whole Marvel two star engine or something like that. I would love to see Marvel. I want to. Oh my gosh, Justice League, the Avengers. That that would be ridiculous for me. I mean, I always thought about, it, and I just want to see it because I would love to see Ryu's head get knocked off. Uh, MK versus Street Fighter. I, I, that was definitely always something that people was was trying yeah. to see back in the day was That's MK a, versus Street Fighter. Yeah. And I, but but I, again, I don't think yeah, Capcom don't want to see no Cammy get her legs pulled the freaking. She'd be like, ah! So some crazy shit. Imagine, imagine, but imagine Street Fighter characters doing fatalities though. Fucking do a Shin Ryuki with Ken and you just see body parts just fly, flying everywhere. Like what if what if Cammy tried to do a cannon drill and got her legs caught and swung some around? Crazy, some crazy shit, man. <laughs> I always wanted to see that back in the day. Um, they should just have like a jam packed freaking. It's kind of like jump balls, like not, not jump all stars. What's that shit from fucking? What kind of like that? Just have mm-hmm. everything just meshed in one, so you have like Bleach characters, Naruto, <coughs> Marvel. That'd be fucking. We asked it for too much. That wouldn't happen. Just, uh, yo, just 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 let me have Batman in a in a, in a fighting game, or like a, a versus style fighting game. I did like him in Injustice, but let me have my man like whipping. Yo, oh gosh. Let me play Batman, Storm, Cyclops. No, no. you don't focus Cyclops like that. No, <laughs> I, I actually think that that, that guy's trash. <laughs> I've said this before. I don't know what episode I, I said it before. Cyclops sucks. Yeah, you know, I, I told that shit to TC. He's like, "Yo, you don't like Scott Summers, man?" <laughs> I was like, "Nah, I like Havoc though." I fuck with Havoc. Havoc is popping. Yeah. Oh, all man, right. That, but that's it. That uh, that concludes episode thirty-five. Mm. Okay, that's pretty fire. Okay, damn. I, I, I want to answer a couple more. Good questions, y'all. Definitely good questions. How good long questions. was that one? Okay, damn. All yeah. right, so we was in it. We was oh, talking. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, there you yeah. have it, ladies and gentlemen. Please hit that follow button right down on the bottom what you see right there. Please cop the merch as well, man. Y'all been supporting very well with that as well. Um, We out here. We'll see you next time. Please follow us at our respective Twitters. BTM's the team. You already know the vibes. We out. Mm.